Hi, my name is Andrew, I'm the support manager of company Grovedot, and today I'll be giving you a quick walkthrough on how to run your first campaign. Let's get to it. So when you go into the app, you will need to switch to campaign section. After you are in the campaign section, you will, you know, there will be no campaigns, but you can add your first campaign right away by clicking on add new campaign. Then you will see that the campaign creation is split into three stages. First stage is that you need to give the campaign a name and you need to select the target list. So the list of the users that you want to address. Um, there are two types of lists here. Uh, there is the standard list, which is the contact list, ticket list, organization list. Uh, and there is the CC file. The main difference between those two is that the CC file is your handmade user list, uh, where you only require it to have in CC file name and email. If we take the standard list, this is the uh, list that will be searching for information in your Zendesk. So uh, maybe the users have specific tags, they, can, uh, they are belonging to the specific organization, that sort of thing. So that's the main difference. Um, if you choose to run with the CSV file, you select your CSV from, uh, from your personal uh, computer. After that, you select an A, you know, uh, there will be automatic mapping based on the columns that you have in CSV file. So name and email and additional fields if you want to update your users or create users with those values. Um, these two options, skip invalid customers and keep customer names were added as workarounds for the problems that our customers have um, bumped into in the past. So we generally advise to use them. After you've done that and you have the list um, uh, selected or imported, uh, there are two things that you can also do, schedule the campaign and share it with another agent. Um, second stage is basically how your email will look like. So we have rich text editor, so it's current editor. Um, if you prefer to use macros, you can use those. Nobody's stopping you there. Uh, we also have our own template system in Proactive Campaigns, where you can select uh, the templates that you, uh, you know, uh, that you have HTML as HTML files you can import your HTML files in templates section. Um, after you import it, you know, after you selected the template, you then go to body preview and check it out. So it looks quite, you know, uh, quite better than the regular email. Um, and the rest of the stuff here, attachments, if you need to send something, uh, emails with attachments as surveys, you can do that. Um, Internal note instead of public comment, this is used for testing. Insert rating or feedback, this is our proactive campaigns XAT system. It's a really small one. You add one to five star rating or text feedback at the end of the email. And of course, there is also the track email opens, which is the our application email tracking. So if you have it, then you can also see uh, if the customer has opened your emails. So that's that. Um, the last stage is ticket configuration. So uh, for each user that you'll be sending email to, there will be a ticket created. And here you basically set up the, t the ticket. Um, you know, who will be the assignee, what kind of the brand it will be. So Grof. Um what kind of the brand it will be. The ticket status, open pending solved. If you have custom statuses, they will also be available for you to select here. Um, the ticket fields with, you know, with the selection of ticket form. Um, after you've done all that and you're ready to go, you can just click run campaign, save and run. Um, if you are, you know, still not sure, you can save it as a draft. And there's also a uh, pending status, which is used when one of the agents tries to run the campaign with CSV file, but they don't have enough permissions to import or update the users. So this is our workaround for that. Um, but yeah, um, if you're all set, ready to go, you can just save and run. Um, if you are worried that the campaign might not look as you want to, you can also test it. So send emails to test recipients and check out how it looks like. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. If you will have any additional questions, you can send it to us by email or by opening in the, uh, the chat. Um, yeah, I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.